So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, we're gonna talk about the great icons on your Fire TV stick. Now this came up a couple weeks ago when I reviewed the Fire TV stick 4K Max. Great device, super fast, ambient feature, which I love, but one issue that didn't have a resolution was great icons when you install a third-party application. So this video, we're gonna talk about the fix for this. Also, I am gonna install another third-party application after I apply the fix, just to see if it's applied automatically. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So for this one, the fix was already in process by Amazon. All they had to do essentially is push an update out, which fixed this issue. So uh, let me show you how to get to your update screen. Then we'll kind of see which version I'm on. This is the brand new Fire TV Stick 4K Max. This is the second generation, one that has most of the bells and whistles. So to check for your update, you're gonna go to your gears icon. I'm gonna go to my Fire TV. We're gonna go to about. And we're gonna go down and check for update. Now you can see my current version is 8.1.0.1. Now the fix is already applied to this version, but let me just see if there's any other upgrades available. All right, so it looks like my Fire TV stick is up to date. So here's a look. In the comment section, let me know which version you're running. Let me know when it was pushed and let me know if it's telling you that your device is up to date. Also, I'm curious to see what the new Fire TV stick 4K is showing versus the 4K Max as well. All right, so let me go back home. So if you guys remember, on my USB drive, I had a couple applications that were third-party apps. And when you went to either one of them, it'll just show the gray icon. So right now you can see I have a couple that's essentially showing how it should be. So IDA64 is one that I actually installed to see what's under the hood, see the processes, see um, some of the specifications that they don't really tell you about. So IDA essentially is a third-party app. It was grayed out. Now you can see it's all good. 3D Mark is another one that I did install for my USB. That one was also grayed out. And also Chrome was grayed out as well. You can see now we have the Chrome icon. So as always, if you wanted to move one of these up, you just do a long press, move it to the top. Let's say I just want to put it right here for now. Now when I go home, you can see I have IDA64 right there and you can see that the icon is showing. So now's the question, what happens if I install a new third party application? So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm not gonna go into full detail how to install third-party applications. I do have a dedicated video to that and I'll go ahead and link that in the screen. But I have a USB drive plugged in. I do have some APKs on there, so let me try a new one. So the APK that we're gonna to install today is going to be Mouse Toggle. All right, so we're gonna go down a little bit. So you can see Mouse Toggle's right there. It's already showing the icon, at least on the USB drive. So let's go ahead and click on it. It's gonna open. And we're going to go ahead and install app. Install. And we're going to go ahead and click done. Now what I want to do is just go back in there. And we'll just make sure that the icon is showing how it should be. All right, so scroll down. And you can see mouse toggles right here. I can do a long press. I can move it up. I can just put it right next to IDA64. Go back home and you can see now everything is working how it should be. So I'm glad um, that Amazon actually pushed an update to fix this issue. I know it's frustrating because uh, when you went to the manage install apps area, you saw the icons and just didn't make sense that the icons just didn't show up here or on the home screen under your favorite. So drop your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if you received this update. Let me know if everything's working fine. Also check out that video when I show you how to install third-party applications on your new Fire TV stick. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.